Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to obtain the Newton Raphson's formula for finding square root of n, where n is a positive real number, and using that, we are going to evaluate the square root of 142. Now let's take x equal to square root of n. By squaring on both the sides, we get x square is equal to n. Using this, we are going to write the function f of x, which is x square minus n. Now, its derivative f dash of x is 2x. Now, using Newton's Raphson's formula, x n plus 1 is x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n. Let's substitute this. So this is xn minus xn square minus n whole divided by 2 into xn. Now when we take LCM, the LCM is 2xn. Here it will become 2xn square. Then when I take the minus sign inside, it is minus xn square and plus n. Now finally we get the formula x of n plus 1 is x n square plus n whole divided by 2 x n. Now we have to calculate the value of root 142. We know root of 144 is 12. So root 142 is closer to this. So we start from x naught as closer to this 12. So now the value of x1 using this wherever n is there we have to put 0. So it is x1 equal to x0 square plus n by 2x0. Since we are going to calculate the value of root of 142, the value of n we can take directly as 142 here. Now from this, if I substitute 12 for x naught, 12 square plus 142 by 2 into 12. Now using calculator, 12 square plus 142, this divided by bracket open 2 into 12. Totally it is 11.91666. If I round off, it is 11.9167. Now, taking this as x1, if I find x2, it is x1 square plus 142 divided by 2x1. So, it is 11.9167 whole square plus 142 whole divided by 2 into 11.9167. So from this 11.9167 square of this plus 142 divided by 2 into 11.9167. This is after rounding up 11.9164. 11.9164. It is 637. We round up to four decimal places. We got x2. Now coming to x3, which is x2 square plus 142 divided by 2 into x2. Now 11.9164 whole square plus 142 divided by 2 into 11.9164. Now using calculator, we take 11.9164 square of that plus 142 divided by 2 into 11.9164. 
this value is 11.9164 again after rounding off 11.9164 so we find x2 and x3 are same which is 11.9164 so we can say the better approximate root is 11.9164 Nine one six four.